you how to make kala chana or black chickpea lettuce wrap. To make the black chickpea or brown chickpea lettuce wraps, we need brown chickpeas, of course. And what I did, uh, I took, use, I'm using here the dried kind of brown chickpeas. I soaked the brown chickpeas overnight and in the morning I boiled the chickpeas in the pressure cooker with only salt. And here I have romaine lettuce which I have washed and cleaned to make the boat like wrap. You will put the chickpea in the middle and you just do the wrap like this. I have diced cucumbers and some cherry tomatoes and I have a fresh sprig of uh, curry leaf from my garden for seasoning. And here in spices, I have uh, two teaspoons of uh, coriander powder, two teaspoons of cumin powder, uh, one and a half teaspoon of garam masala, and one teaspoon of garlic ginger powder. And another thing I have here is two teaspoons of chickpea flour. And I have a couple of chili peppers. I have some black pepper and I have ghee for the seasoning. I have a heated pan here and I'm going to add two teaspoons of oil in the pan. I'm sorry, it's a ghee in the pan. You can use any kind of oil also, but that's a two teaspoon of ghee in the pan and then uh, I have the curry leaves here. I'm going to first put the curry leaf. And putting curry leaf first flavors the ghee really nicely with the curry leaves. I have a curry leaf here uh, in the ghee and after they are a little bit kind of fried in the ghee, so ghee gets all the flavors of the curry leaf, I'm going to add uh, two teaspoons of chickpea flour or basin. So I'm going to just roast this basin a little bit. And after I roast the basin, I will start adding the spices. So this chickpea flour or basin, a uh, little bit, kind of binds the all the seasoning. And it also helps uh, sticking all the spices on the chickpea flour. So I'm going to a little bit toast it. And when we put the curry leaves first in the ghee, all the flavors from the curry leaves really get into the chickpea flour. So this is just going to be a couple of minutes. We don't want to burn it. You can see the color started changing on this side. So it's roasting. See that? So it's getting from light yellow to dark yellow right here see that the changing color it's more toasted on this side than this side that's because how heat probably is on the more on that side of the pan so now another sign of roasting the chickpea flour is Besides the color change, the smell, the aroma of the chickpea flour when it's toasted is really nice. So at this, I, I, I can smell the chickpea flour right now and it's all toasted. So I am going to add all my spices at this point.
this point I'm going to add my kala chana and the red chili peppers and give it a nice stir and during this process as soon as you add the spices you make sure your heat is pretty low you don't want very high heat because that's going to burn all the spices and the flour so you can see it's coating the chana very nicely and if your chana seems to be very dry you can add a tiny bit of a water to make it little wet and coat the spices i'm going to add here this much water and give it a little stir and that will help the spices to get absorbed in the chana so i'm going to add a little more water and just give it a little stir everything is nicely coated and we're going to transfer this in the bowl and make the wraps so we're going to build our lettuce wrap now here i have a romaine lettuce which i wash clean and remove the hard stems black chickpea lettuce wraps uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching